Hey, welcome to the channel. It's Jack, the muscle and mobility maker with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today, I'm taking you through a quick bench press warm up that'll help get you prepped for the next time you're under the bar. But before we get into it, let's take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Saturday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine, and it doesn't get better than that. So take advantage of it. Ready? Let's go ahead and dive into this one. All right, like I said, today I'm gonna be taking you through a quick bench press prep or warm up routine that you can use right before you're getting under that bar so that you can be prepped in all those major areas that we really want working at their fullest capacity. So the hips, the spinal column, and the shoulders overall. We're gonna be looking at your hips ability to externally rotate and stabilize the pelvis. We're gonna look at that extension of your spinal column so you can get that nice global arch and maintain that with good core stability. And then we're gonna be looking at your shoulder internal rotation, making sure that your scapula aren't getting pulled out of position and they can maintain their stability as well. So we'll take you through those positions, show you a few stability exercises that you can use, and you'll be ready to jump under that bar for your bench press. Ready? Let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, the first thing we're gonna address is your thoracic spinal column. What I want is a foam roller and a heavy kettlebell so I can load up for thoracic extension here. If I don't have good spinal extension, I can't use my global arch to generate as much power from the spine and core organization as possible. So here we're opening up. I wanna start with a pressure wave and I'm just gonna roll the length of the spine there through the thoracic spine to see if there's any kinks that wanna work their way out. If there's any points that do feel kind of sticky, what I'm gonna do is pause over those, keep my abs braced, and then arch back with the weight on my sternum as I extend over that roller. Next, we're gonna address the hips. Here, I'm working on my internal rotation and hip extension at the same time. It's important that I keep my knee stacked over my ankle as I extend my hip here. So I really wanna try and keep my knee over the ankle from caving inward, and that's gonna get my glutes to engage really well as I drive that hip up each time here. Now the band is helping place that hip in a good position in the socket. So it's actually pulling downward. I have my other foot pushing off the post to give myself some extra tension there. And then I'm working it through that internal rotation, helping pull tight to my body and then bridging up from that point. From there, I'm going to turn so I can be in a half kneeling position and I'm gonna work a little more internal and external rotation at the same time here. So I'm gonna go ahead and push outward after driving my knee inward. Now the important thing here is keeping three points of contact from your foot. So we're never letting the ankle actually roll up. We wanna keep it where our foot can stay in contact with the floor as we push internal and external rotation while the band is pulling. Next, we're gonna move up to the shoulders. So I move my band up to hip height when I'm standing, and I'm gonna place it at the front of the shoulder so it's pulling my shoulder back. I have my arm in an internally rotated position. Now this is important because a lot of times when you're missing internal rotation in your bench press, this is what's gonna pull your shoulders out of position and help you to lose stability overall. So we wanna make sure that we have as much internal rotation at the shoulder as possible so when those elbows get past your body, we're not pulling our scapula out of position. So at first I was letting it just pull me, now I'm gonna add some rolls in that position in both directions and you'll just see that I'm working that scapula through both directions there. Really letting that, after I contract, pull my arm back, my scapula back. Next I'm gonna move it to the elbow to bring it a little bit further back behind my body and really pull into that extension. This might pull at that anterior deltoid, that pec insertion, biceps there at the front of the shoulder. So depending on how tight those tissues are, you might notice this one a little bit more depending on where your shoulder mobility is currently. You can see I'm using my free hand to actually pin that arm behind my back in that position and help anchor it. Now lastly, I'm gonna take both hands inside the band. I'm gonna internally rotate with the arms fully extended. I want my glutes to engage here and I'm letting the band pull me into that global arch. So this is a little bit of thoracic at global extension of the spine, I should say, as well as internal rotation of the shoulder at the same time.
The last area I wanted to touch on was your wrist. So what I'm gonna do is take my thumb and my middle finger and clasp them just above the radius and ulna where the wrist bends. What I wanna do is squeeze so hard that it actually creates space between my carpals and those bones at my radius and ulna there. So that space is allowing me to take this through passive range of motion. So I'm using the hand that's gripping to move the hand that's being gripped not moving the hand that's being gripped because that'll create tension. So we want as much space at the wrist as possible and you're working out the crunchies in both directions as you passively work with that free hand there. And lastly, we're gonna do some stability to bring it all together here. So I've got my foam roller, a band anchored at hip height, and what I'm gonna do is get myself into my bench press position. I'm pulling that band as if I were holding the bar. I'm bridging up, getting extension and external rotation at the hips, and then I'm getting my shoulder blades pulled down and back hugging that foam roller. So I'm never over protracting on the press here, but I wanna rip the band apart rotating my hand so I get external rotation, engage my lats, and pull the band to bend it over my ribs in this position here. And lastly, bottoms up kettlebell press from the foam roller as well. This is gonna get a lot of great core engagement going on, as well as working your shoulder through its full range of motion. So lots of tension here through your legs, holding lots of stability. See if you could tap your elbow all the way to that floor down by your obliques there, and then press back up. The whole point here is maintaining tension. It's not about fatiguing yourself either, it's about activation. So we wanna make sure that we feel the muscles that should be working and engaging, engaging and working prior to actually going into our lifts. So these might be some of the most important pieces that'll actually hit the save button on all that mobility work that we just did prior to this. So bring it all together with that stability work and finish out strong going into your bench, not fatigued, just enough to feel that activation and then go from there. All right, and there you have it. A quick pre-lift routine that you can do to help you optimize your bench press. If you like this video, make sure you let me know by clicking that big thumbs up down below and take a moment to share this one with a friend. If they're trying to optimize their lift and get the most out of it, share them some love here and pass it along their way. If you're somebody who struggles with pains during your bench press and that's why you're looking for a good warm up routine right now, maybe it's your shoulders, maybe it's your low back, whatever it might be, what I want you to do right now is drop down below in the description to fill out a coaching application schedule a mobility blueprint call. This is our opportunity to get on a Zoom call together so that I can first of all take you through a bit of an assessment and gather all the information I would need to tailor a program specific to your needs so that we can make sure that you're getting back under the bar without pain in the shoulders, low back, hips, whatever it might be. Let's go ahead and talk about it so we can address that for you and get you back under the bench pain free. Last but not least, if you have not already, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Saturday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine, and it doesn't get better than that. So take advantage of it. Welcome to the Stronghold Army. We'll see you next week.